Is embryo transfer painful? I am Dr. Archana S. Ayanadhan uh, from Dr. Archana IVF Chennai. So embryo transfer uh, is not a painful procedure and I uh, see that lot of my patients request for uh, anesthesia for this procedure. So anesthesia is something which we give for when the pain is going to be very high and the patient cannot tolerate the pain. That is why we give them anesthesia. So this procedure of embryo transfer is a very, very, very easy technique what is performed using very thin catheters just like how an IUI is getting done. So the catheters are actually like this. So we have an outer catheter and there is an inner catheter because embryo is something which is really microscopic. We put it uh, under a microscope and then that is uh, we load the embryos like this and then we put this inside the lady's uterus and inject the embryos. So if the embryos are microscopic, the catheter used also will be a very thin, very malleable catheter. So if you can see this inner catheter, this is very, very, very malleable. It is almost like, uh, I mean, you can bend it in any way, right? So these kind of catheters, inner catheters are used to load the embryos and uh, that is introduced inside this outer catheter. And the outer catheter is also malleable. That is, you know, even that can be bent in all ways. So if something is hard, putting it inside your uterus through your cervix, you know, it is going to pain. But if something is so soft and it can be bent always, it will make its own way inside the internal os when it goes through the, I mean, uh, through the os, that, that is your cervical canal. So this is going to be completely painless and you, we just introduce it inside. We put the inner catheter inside like this inject and come back take it out so this is the simple procedure the simplest procedure in IVF so as I told this looks very simple isn't it so this does not require anesthesia in any way in case if the patient is suffering from any cervical stenosis or if we've done a mock or a dummy embryo transfer and we find that the catheter is not going inside the cervix and we have tried other methods of hysteroscopically trying to open up the cervical canal if all these things are failed then we might consider giving anesthesia for embryo transfer in my practice maybe out of 100 cases i would have given only one person the anesthesia for other people and all it is without anesthesia and it is not at all required and you can completely believe and get inside the procedure room.